The Google Keyboard with new name and interesting features has just recently made its way to Android. Your Android phone would already be updated with this new keyboard. If the old Google's keyboard's limited features forced you to switch to a third-party Android keyboard, then the Gboard might change up your mind. Gboard is just as light and fast as the old Google keyboard, but it comes with unique new features. So today, I'm going to show you the 10 new Gboard features that you will surely love. So without wasting much time, let's get started. Number 1. The built-in Google Search The most talked about feature, Gboard now has a built-in G button to quickly search your queries on the Google Search. The search button is specially created for Gboard and it's completely different in functionality. G button is not simply a shortcut to Google Search, meaning no additional apps will be opened when you search through it. Instead, the search will show answer to your query using the Google's instant answers. If there is no answer available, then a link to the top result is shown. This search is basically created to help you access more important information such as location, news, weather, or a recent event and quickly share it with the person you are chatting with. Sharing is also very easy as Gboard offers a special share button that automatically pastes all the important information and search content in the text field you are typing in. Number 2. Spacebar as a trackpad We all know how difficult it is to place the tiny cursor in the right spot when you need to amend a mistake while typing. Gboard solves this problem by allowing you to control the cursor using the spacebar key. Simply swipe your finger left or right on the spacebar to move the cursor in the respective direction. Unfortunately, you cannot swipe up or down to move the cursor between lines, but you can still use the old method of tapping to quickly place the cursor anywhere you like. Number 3. Quickly delete multiple words. For quickly deleting one letter at a time, the delete button in the keyboard does a great job. However, if you want to delete the whole sentence, the delete button takes 1 to 2 seconds just to delete a single line. Gboard allows you to quickly get rid of multiple words with a single swipe. So when you want to delete multiple words, simply swipe from the delete key and all the words will start highlighting. Once the required words are highlighted, raise your finger from the screen and they will be deleted. In the portrait mode, a single swipe allows you to delete 5 to 8 words. You can quickly swipe multiple times to delete more words. Number 4. Search for emojis and GIFs Gboard has a new built-in search for emojis and GIFs that you can use to quickly find the right one. Tap on the emojis button at the bottom right corner to access the emojis. Here you should see a search bar on the top. Tap on it and enter the type of emoji you need. For example, you can type happy to see emojis expressing happiness or type sad to see emojis expressing sadness. You can use this search bar to enter the emotion you are feeling and see quick results. Same goes for the GIFs but the GIF feature will only work in text fields where GIFs are allowed. Number 5. Multilingual Typing With Gboard, you can easily type in multiple languages without needing to switch between them. You just need to specify the languages you want to use and Gboard will automatically detect and offer predictions according to the language. For example, if you like typing in English and Spanish simultaneously, then whenever you will enter a Spanish word while typing English, it will search and start predicting Spanish words. However, you will have to manually switch between the keyboards if the secondary language is very different from the primary, such as English and Arabic. Number 6. Light Typing This is not a new function but a rather enhanced one. Swipe typing was always available in the Google Keyboard but with Gboard's many improvements have been made. Now the animations are much smoother and the accuracy has also been enhanced. The glide typing feature is also much faster now and can handle your hyper swipe typing speed. If you are interested in swipe typing then give Gboard another try. You will definitely be pleased. Number 7. Add a permanent number row Although this feature is already offered by other keyboard apps but Google has finally added in its stock Android keyboard. You can now add a permanent number row at the top of the keyboard to quickly enter numbers. 
In order to enable it, just go to the settings from the G button and tap on the preferences. Now enable the option number row and you can see a number row at the top of the keyboard which is very useful. Number 8. Use the one hand mode. It can be a big problem to type with just one hand on a large display Android phone such as the LG V20. If you have such device or have smaller hands, then you can use the Gboard's one hand mode to easily type with just one hand. One hand mode will pin the keyboard at one corner of the screen, left or right, so you could easily type with just all keys in reach. For enabling the one hand mode, tap on the G button and click on the one hand mode icon in the middle. One hand mode will be enabled now. You can just tap on the expand button on the side of it to switch it back to normal mode. Number 9. Capitalize words easily. Usually, you need to tap the shift key and then tap the letter to add a capitalized letter. However, with the G board, you can simply tap on the shift key and swipe to the letter that you want to capitalize and it will be typed in its capital form. This is very useful at times. Number 10. Quickly enter symbols. Similar to capitalization, you can also quickly enter symbols by swiping from question mark 1 to 3 key. Simply tap on it and swipe upward, the page will immediately change to the symbols page. Now leave the swipe of the symbol that you want to use and it will be entered and you will be automatically switched back to the main keyboard. This method is definitely a whole lot faster. Gboards is definitely a great improvement upon the Google keyboard and it should entice many people to switch back to the default Android keyboard. I had switched to Google keyboard from Swift key simply because it is lighter and Google search is definitely a keyboard. Do let me know in the comments down below if you are going to switch back to Gboard or not and which Gboard features you like. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I'm Saeed Mukherjee and I'm signing out right now. Peace.